The first time um, I miscarried, I was in the first trimester near the end, and um, I was at the beach, and something didn't feel right, and I realized that I had started to bleed, and so I called the doctor. He had me come in. They do the scan, and I looked up at the nurse, and she had tears in her eyes. She said, I'm so sorry. It's all very thief in the night stuff because you go into an emergency room or whatever and you walk in thinking that you're an ecosystem and you walk out completely barren and empty. The physical impact got tougher with each miscarriage so that by the third I think I was at my physical breaking point you know you get revved up and then the crash and then the emptiness there's no coffin there's no outward symbology there's no kind of ritual there's just you and your partner it's not necessarily a reality for anybody else very few people know how to respond to it. There's not a lot of awareness on it. It's that taboo kind of thing. And nobody wants it to happen to them, so it's kind of like you've got the plague. Like, can, can you catch it? If you said to me, is there anything positive about all that? I think it's made me appreciate life. Yeah, it knocks you for six, but if you choose the wisdom out of the wound, then there is healing and there is a light at the end of the tunnel. But you don't see it when you're in the trenches. I mean, you know, there is a dark night of the soul and you have to walk that. Although I wasn't able to bring them to physical life, I was able to bring them into song form. And there are songs that are written about them that I play even now, then you turn around death into some kind of expression of life. She's afraid of a